Well, good afternoon, real estate fans. Alice Lima here, broker John L. Scott here in lovely Southern Oregon with another uh, podcast market update about our housing in Jackson County, Josephine County, and Klamath counties. We lovingly call ourselves Southern Oregon. Um, One of the things I do want to mention this week is that as the holiday weekend is coming, a lot of us are going to be spending time with our relatives. And it's a great time to talk about your own estate planning, even if you're not a million years old yet. Um, Even if you're in your 60s like I am or younger, it's a good time to start making plans. If you've bought a house, sold a house, bought a car, sold a car, brought somebody new into your life, signed a lease with somebody, you know, all those little life changes need to be documented and accounted for in case there's an emergency. And I am a huge fan of planning things out ahead of time only because life is short and we don't really know what's going to happen. And I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer, but um, it doesn't hurt to have conversations with your family. Let them know what you would like to happen to you or how you would like things to be handled and write it down. And if you need some help, we have some wonderful estate attorneys in Southern Oregon. We can refer you to, if you're from somewhere else, we can still find somebody good down there too. Um, And one of this was brought home so hard this week. One of the new listings we're taking Um, has an elder who unfortunately wasn't quite ready for her golden years. And now there's another set of issues. And now what happens to mom? And so some of this can be prevented or at least uh, softened with planning, investing, and just making some decisions earlier on. And and you don't, um, it's not too late. Uh, you know, you don't have to say to yourself, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm 60, I'm 50, I'm, I'm 70. It, it's never too late to try to make some kind of a plan for additional income, uh, for caretaking, um, for what kind of resuscitation or life support or not, if there's an emergency and just who, who gets what. And, and I think holidays are a great time to have those conversations uh, with our loved ones. The other uh, thing I wanted to mention is that if you even added somebody new in your life in a romantic sense, and you just signed a rental agreement together, you you need to have some other conversations about what happens to their stuff in an emergency, blah, blah, blah. And do you have more insurance? You know, we just had those fires like six, seven months ago. Um, So I just love opportunities when groups of our loved ones can be together because you can really have some nuts and bolts conversations instead of waiting until there's a disaster or a crisis or quite frankly, it's just too late. So um, just uh, let me know if you need some help with your estate planning, with your investing. Uh, if if you need some referrals, we'll get that to you. And along those lines, on the radio show this week, we have Cherish Tucker from Tucker Estate Sales. And uh, she and her mom are just really an amazing force in the estate sale uh, world where they can come in and just do a great job with your stuff, with your parents' stuff, uh, however, <laughs> whatever relative it is. Um, and it's, I think it's really a, a, an interesting episode to listen to, and that'll be airing tomorrow, which is Saturday, uh, 10 o'clock on uh, KCMX Radio 880. So tune in if you want some good advice about what to do with all the things. My personal opinion is do that early. We don't wait till you know, there's 40 years collected. (laughs) Um, But if you find yourself in that boat, you know, the Tucker Estates uh, people can absolutely help you. Okay. So this week in Southern Oregon, we still have fits and starts, uh, depending on which neighborhood you're in, which county you're in. Uh, Some of the prices are stabilizing a little. We're even seeing quite a few Uh, price reductions now. And I'm watching new properties come on the market in all three counties, slightly under what you would expect. Some of that has to do with lower appraisals coming in. Some of it has to do with people just don't want to wait around for four months to sell their property. Uh, They might be in an escrow on something else and just don't want to jinx it. Um, But also there's slowly and surely more properties coming on the market in all the counties and all the neighborhoods and phew, we're so glad. (laughs) And I think it's really going to be a much more enjoyable process this summer because the market will even out. And just a reminder what a normal market looks like. A normal market is somewhere between 
four and six months to sell a property. And so uh, if you see days on market under 30 days, that's extremely seller market oriented, but I don't want the sellers to get a big head about all this. We've been saying this for months. As the market changes, you're not in as much uh, power as you think. And we can tell because the buyers are just pushing back and getting away with it. They're writing lower offers. They're changing their mind. They're falling out of escrow. For example, in Josephine County, uh, we had 44 new listings and 49 pending and 32 closed sale, but we had six, oh, I'm sorry, we had 17 back on the market. So 17 back on the market with basically 50 pending sales, that's a pretty big ratio. So the buyers are definitely being more picky and they're not afraid to get out of a deal after they're in escrow. And then the seller has been off the market for one to three weeks when that happens. So Josephine County had 44 new listings, 49 pending sales, 39 close sale, 17 back on market, and their median average day on market is six. So that's still pretty quick. Uh, Jackson County, we've got 120 new listings, 121 pendings, 91 close sales, and 27 back on market. So if you look at 27 back on market with 121 pendings, that in my opinion is still kind of high. It's not as high as in Josephine County, but but it's definitely up there. And then uh, we also, just like Josephine County, have a median day on market of six, which again is pretty quick, but don't let that fool you. And then Jackson County, the median sales price, and this is for residential, uh, is 395. So Jackson County, 395, Josephine County, 343. So that's because people are leaving Jackson County and going to Josephine County. They're also going to Klamath County, but Klamath County is a completely separate market. I mean, Josephine County is too, but um, we're watching a lot more crossover between Jackson and Josephine County than we used to have before. Then we also have people just leaving the area because as, as we've been talking, you know, for well, since the shutdown started a year ago, uh, the people are just leaving the area. They're taking their job with them and sayonara. So Klamath County, the median sales price in residential is one twenty five. is isn't that great? That is so great. And it's still a good rental market up there because if I remember correctly, a little over 50% of the population in Klamath are tenants. Part of that is because of the school OIT, Oregon Institute of Technology. There's an air base up there. Um, yeah, so there's just, you know, a little more um, transitory lifestyle. And so uh, the rental market is really good if you want to talk about that this weekend. Just give me a jingle because I think Klamath County is a great investment opportunity. But anyway, back to the stats. So um, Klamath County, $125,000 average, 81 new listings, 76 pending sales, 42 closed sales, 13 back on market. So if you have 76 pending and 13 back on market, that's a little better ratio, um, maybe maybe more normal. But um yeah. And then the uh, median days on market in Klamath County is 11. So that's still, still pretty quick. Anyway, so just uh, remember what I said about thinking of your estate in your golden years. Um, it's never too early to plan. If you're a younger person, you could at least do a medical directive. And if you own even a car, and maybe your grandfather's watch, you know, somebody's going to have to do something with that if the unexpected happens. So it doesn't hurt to write it down. You can write it down with um, a couple of family members if you want to have them witness it. I prefer people do it with a notary and a lawyer and all that stuff um, is my recommendation. But if you just want to do something quick, um, then do it you know, while you're thinking about it, because that's what really counts. So this is Alice Lima, broker John L. Scott, Southern Oregon, real estate. Give me a call. Give me a text this weekend. If you want to chat, my number is 541-301-7980. We always have your best interests at heart. Have a beautiful holiday with your loved ones. We'll talk to you next week. Bye now.